there's no need to get tense. Relax, relax, condense. Subscribe, baby, subscribe. When current flows from a battery, it leaves the negative terminal, passes through a component such as a bulb, and returns to the positive terminal. This is called DC or direct current because current always flows in one direction. AC or alternating current starts the same way. It leaves the negative terminal, passes through a component such as a bulb, and returns to the positive. The difference is that positive and negative are constantly alternating between terminals, so the current is always alternating directions. Household wiring is AC, and if you live in America, it alternates 60 times a second. AC is used for household wiring for a few reasons. AC can be transmitted over long distances with less power loss than DC. AC voltage can be easily increased or decreased with transformers. And it's easy to change AC to DC, making AC more versatile. Converting alternating current to direct current is called rectification. Many appliances in your home work best with alternating current. Electronics like our radio, however, require direct current. As you can see on the schematic, some of the circuit uses AC, but most is DC. Again, converting AC to DC is called rectification. In our radio, this is the job of the rectifier tube. I'll describe it in more detail later, but for now, all you need to know is that it's a diode. Diodes have a useful property. They only allow power to flow through them in one direction. So, when alternating current enters a diode, only the forward direction is allowed to pass, converting AC to DC. Because rectification only allows half the current to pass, power is cut in half. You might think that this would turn 120 volts into 60 volts, but this isn't the case. Remember, power, which is measured in watts, is a product of not just volts, but also amps. In the next section, we'll use a modern silicon diode to fix an issue with our radio. Let's calculate how much voltage and amps it will actually drop. To do this, we need another formula. The formula for rectification states that the rectified voltage equals the voltage times the square root of 0.5, which is 0 0.707. The voltage coming into the diode will be around 120 volts. If we multiply that times 0 0.707, we find that the output voltage will be 84.8. The formula also works for amps. At 120 volts, the circuit which will connect to the diode will draw about 0.3 amps. If we multiply that times 0 0.707, we find that the rectified amperage draw will be 0.2121. So is 84.8 volts at 0.2121 amps half the power of 120 volts at 0.3 amps? Let's check. 120 times 0.3 gives us 36 watts. And 84.8 times 0.2121 gives us 18. Yeah, it adds up, or should I say multiplies up. Rectification with one diode is called half wave because it only uses half of the alternating AC wave. Four diodes can also be arranged in a bridge circuit to use both sides of the AC wave. This is called full wave rectification and it turns almost all of the AC voltage into DC voltage. In our case though, we're going to use the reduced voltage from half-wave rectification to our advantage. We'll learn about that in our next video. To stay updated, please subscribe and click the bell. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.